Death. It's a sensitive topic, and although death will happen to all of us, what happens when we die may never be 100% confirmed, but here are 5 theories on what may happen when we do pass. You come back as an animal. Animal reincarnation is the concept that once you die, your soul and energy leaves your body and comes back as a newborn animal, that all humans and animals share a similar if not the same soul. Once you have become an animal, you won't know of your past life as a human. It's one of the main beliefs in India and Eastern religions. The Buddhist religion implies that souls are reborn as animals because of past misdeeds. Because non-human animals can't engage in conscious acts of self-improvement, they cannot improve their karmic status, and their souls must continue to be reborn as animals until their bad karma is exhausted, and only after that are they reborn as human beings. So being reborn as an animal is actually considered to be quite a serious spiritual setback in the Buddhist religion. Born again. Ever had deja vu, that overwhelming sense of familiarity with something that shouldn't be familiar at all? Well, one theory suggests that it's not as unfamiliar as you once thought, because you have been there before. Being born again is the theory that your entire life is deja vu. Once you die, you start over again in a new human body, never to remember your previous life. Everything is just repeating over and over again, except this time you have different opportunities and maybe you won't make the same mistakes you made last time. Believers say it's the world's way of recycling us and bringing us back as better, more intelligent humans. There is actually a Russian lady called Tati Valo who claims to have proof of this theory. She is said to be able to speak 120 languages and believes that many of them are from her previous lives. They're just languages I remember from my past lives. They just came to me one day 10 years ago in a math class at school. In a split second, I just forgot Russian. I couldn't speak a single word in Russian, but I shocked the teacher and my classmates by speaking languages they didn't know. That is what she said. So, do you think her being able to unexpectedly speak those languages was her mind interfering with her previous lives? Heaven and Hell Out of all the theories about life after death, going to heaven or hell is easily one of the most believed. The notion is that all of us have a spirit inside of us, and after death, this spirit is transported to heaven or hell depending on our decisions made in our physical life. It comes from the Bible, where Jesus was said to say, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. Basically saying that those who have chosen to have faith in Christ will go into eternal life in heaven, but those who reject Christ as their saviour will be sent to eternal punishment in hell. Hell is said to be a place where the unrighteous will experience the never-ending eternal wrath from God. Hell is described in the Bible as a bottomless pit and a lake of fire burning with sulfur, where those summoned will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Heaven, on the other hand, will be a magical place filled with love and care, where you will spend your days with loved ones who have also passed. The Bible states that God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but desires them to turn from their wicked way so that they can live in heaven. Many believers think that life on earth is a test, a preparation for what is to come. So maybe life after death is eternal life in heaven with loved ones and God. Or for non-believers of Christ, life after death is eternity in the burning pits of fire. Death is an illusion. Now this one is hard to wrap your mind around. It's the thought that death is simply an illusion and Professor Robert Lanza, a scientist from the Wake Forest University School of Medicine in North Carolina, says the evidence lies in the idea that the concept of death is a mere figment of our consciousness and that the answer lies in quantum physics and biocentrism. Professor Lanza says biocentrism explains that the universe only exists because of an individual's consciousness of it. Essentially, life and biology are central to reality, which in turn creates the universe and that the universe itself does not create life. He believes that space and time are just tools of the mind and that life isn't what we think it is. It seems Albert Einstein somewhat believed in this theory. He once said this about a dear friend of his who had passed. Now Besso has departed from this strange world a little ahead of me. That means nothing. People like us know that the distinction between past, present and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. It was Einstein's theory of relativity that showed that space and time are indeed relative to the observer. Quantum theory ended the classical view that particles exist if we don't perceive them. But if the world is observer created, then maybe it's also destroyed with each of us when we die. And at the end of the day, our minds are at least to our knowledge intelligent, but maybe what happens after death is so mind-blowing we cannot even comprehend it because we are only able to think what our brains can grasp. Maybe it's something our minds can't even piece together. So, is death really just an illusion, and not just death, but everything, our jobs, our cars, our money, families and friends? Maybe it's all just an illusion created in the mind? Sounds crazy, but like all these theories, there is no real way of proving whether it's right or wrong. 
nothing. So this next theory is less magical and spiritual. It's that once you die, that's it. You don't go to heaven or hell. You won't be reincarnated into an animal or reborn as a human. But once you pass, that's it, nothing. Complete silence. Everyone and everything you ever loved, everything you ever touched and smelled is gone. Once your heart stops beating and the electrical impulses in your brain stop, that's it. It's not even blackness because you would have to have a conscious working brain in order to process blackness. It's just an empty void of nothingness. You wouldn't even realize that you are dead because like blackness, realization is only something that happens when you're alive. It would just be as if you fell asleep and never woke up. Just like before you were born, there is nothing. You would simply decompose and return to earth. Earth would absorb your minerals and vitamins and recycle your body.